What up, y'all? DC Fagel Guy. The news of Twisted doing a new Riders album was announced well over a month ago now. The pre-orders just dropped. People are talking about it. And here's what I think about it. My two cents, motherfucker. Now, I think a lot of you are actually going to be surprised my thoughts on this. Because I've voiced my opinions about Twisted doing Dark Lotus at their shows. Uh, a lot of people disagreed with me with that. I think now we're kind of have a coin flip situation here because from what I'm reading, there's a lot of people who were defending Twisted with the whole Dark Lotus thing that are now kind of looking at this whole Riders thing as they see it in kind of the light that everybody else did. But then you still have some people that see it as they have every right to do it. I'm not going to argue that point. What I'm what I'm going to say is what I think about it, and hopefully you guys will kind of understand what I'm saying, whether you agree or disagree. This is just the way that I look at it, and this is why I'm actually okay with it, and I think that Twisted doing Riders actually makes sense, and I think it's cool. Let's just kind of jump back and talk a little bit about the whole Dark Lotus thing. I've made my videos about it. I've made my thoughts and opinions about it very clear. And the reason I feel the way about Dark Lotus is, is Dark Lotus was always meant to be Twisted, Blaze, and ICP. You take any one of those out, and it's to me, it's just not Dark Lotus. It's Twisted and Blaze, or it's ICP and Twisted, or Blaze and ICP. You take any one of those out, to me, it's no longer Dark Lotus. However, the Psychopathic Riders has always been a revolving roster of rappers on it. Everybody that was currently on Psychopathic Records took on an alias, rapped as that Rida, and that's the albums that we got. It was always rotating. With only the core members being, of course, Twisted, Blaze, and ICP, or under their aliases. So when... The beef happened, we got a clear explanation of what the fate of Dark Lotus was. But, you know, when Twisted left Psychopathic Records, one of the questions people asked is, what did this mean for Psychopathic Riders and Dark Lotus? We got the answer for Dark Lotus. With the beef, they're fucking broken up. Dark Lotus is kind of dead right now. Whether Twisted tries to carry it on as Lotus or not. However, the Psychopathic Riders through that beef, why couldn't these individuals here split off and do their own things? You know there are gangs born out of some gang members leaving this gang and going and starting their own gang. And to me, musically, that tells a story of what happened to Lil Shank, Saw, uh, uh, Cell Block, Fofo, and Young Dirt. Assuming that they'll all be in the new Riders album. I don't fully know like who all is planning to be in the Riders or not. But to me, this tell this can tell a story of what happened to those riders. Um, it's in the same way that I'm okay with Misery doing the last Rider album. I believe he's still planning to work on that. That, to me, I think is going to be a dope project. I don't think it'll ever happen, but I would hope out of this that um, ICP gets together with, like, say, Ouija Mac. Maybe Esham comes on and does it. Maybe even Misery comes back and does some of his Twin Gats and Big Hoodoo, and we get a Psychopathic Riders album in kind of a retaliation to this Riders album that's coming out. But to me, I'm perfectly okay with Twisted doing the Riders simply because musically, in the whole kind of, um, in the whole kind of gimmick of what the Riders is, this musically and, and within a story makes sense because these Riders are going off and doing their own thing under a new name. They drop Psychopathic off. They're just the Riders. Hopefully they stick to the gimmick and Jack Beats, but I doubt it because I don't think they're going to take that risk. I would assume they're going to keep their aliases the same as well. I'm assuming Madrox will be Lil Shank. I'm assuming that Minoxia will be Fofo. That's the assumption I'm making. I haven't listened to the new single yet. Um, I'm probably going to listen to the album because, I, like I said, I'm okay with this project because musically it tells a story that makes sense to me. I would just like to, I would love to see something more become of it from Psychopathics in, but I think we all know that's never going to happen just because ICP is focused on themselves right now. And, and for that point, the, the Psychopathic Records roster really isn't even clear at this point is 
is light still part of the label or not is dj clay still part of the label or not then you know they're doing their own things with their own labels now really the only ones i think that are still under the umbrella of psychopathic records is just ouija mac and big hoodoo so maybe we could get a writers from them i don't even think that's anywhere on icp's priority list at all it's something that would be dope that should come out but I think Twisted doing the Ridas is an okay thing. And honestly, out of the two, if they were going to try to keep riding on Lotus or Ridas, I would rather them do the Ridas because it makes sense rather than Lotus. Because <laughs> Lotus was always Twisted, Blaze, and ICP. Ridas has always been rotating or revolving. It's, it's just been an ever-changing roster. So this splinter cell of a gang now known as purely just the riders, I think it's I think it's okay. I'm absolutely okay with that. I plan on checking it out. I don't know if I'll buy it or not. It depends on if I like it, but I think them doing it makes the most sense out of anything that they could cherry pick from success, successful ideas that have been birthed to psychopathic records. So um Love or hate my two cents on this? Leave your thoughts down below if you if you disagree or not. But that's just what I think. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.